Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Asaf Adonai. Welcome to another segment of Asaf Adonai Stories. In the 1930s, the original radio broadcast had live radio broadcasts like The Lone Ranger, Fibber McGee and Molly, and The Shadow Knows. But of all those radio broadcasts, the most popular is the one we're talking about today. Our guest on today's ASAF Stories had the title role in the 1940 black and white 13 chapter movie serial, The Green Hornet. Our guest appeared in 104 movies from 1931 to 1963, two of which I take this oath, and the 1963 American Western comedy McClintock with John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. We're talking about Gordon Winovo Jones, known to the world as Gordon Jones. I have nothing to say to reporters. Oh, come on now, Mr. Lavinson. Sure, the Sentinel wants to help you. And you know, there's nobody here but the two of us. By the ghost of St. Patrick, the Green Hornet. So it was you that was collecting the blood money for the racket, you murdering pirate. Here we are. Gordon, born 1911, was an American character actor best known for the Green Hornet. Born in Alden, Iowa, he attended the University of California, Los Angeles in 1929 and played three years as guard on the varsity football team and he played professional football. He started playing small roles in a movie called the Monkey's Paw, his first credited role was Let Him Have It in 1935. A member of John Wayne's acting company, Gordon Hitherstride, appearing as the Green Hornet in the first of two movie serials based on the old time radio program. The golden age of radio was an era of radio programming in the United States during which radio was the dominant electronic home entertainment medium. The Green Hornet is a fictional character, a masked crime fighter created by George Trindle and Fran Stryker. Now, Van Williams and Bruce Lee did their version of the Green Hornet in the 1960s, but the original Green Hornet on the radio made its debut in 1936 on WXYZ Radio. Now, the synopsis of the original Green Hornet, the Green Hornet his alter ego is Britt Reed, who is a wealthy young publisher for the Daily Sentinel newspaper by day. And by night, Britt Reed dons the long green overcoat, the green fedora hat, the green mask of the mysterious Green Hornet. Wait for me. Mm -hmm. Well, Acme's crossing it tonight with a truckload of Brian's perishables. Using the old road to fool us, huh? Yeah. Corey, get the boys and put that bridge out of commission. Dean, take Andy and fix that carload of fruit that Brian has at the railroad yards. Yeah, that'll show him the deal with Acme is expensive. See you at the bridge, Corey. How come? Thought you were laying low since you bumped Roberts. Lay off that Roberts business. Jones remained in films and television throughout the 1950s and on television shows such as The Real McCoys with Walter Brennan and The Rifleman with Chuck Connors. And he appeared in the 1961 Disney movie The Absent-Minded Professor with Fred McMurray and Son of Flubber. Gordon has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, so your audience can check out more information on Gordon Jones. He just left the world a variety of characters, but he'll always be best remembered as the Green Hornet. I am your host, Asaf Adonai. Until our next show, Maranatha. Don't move, Slickby. The Green Hornet? What do you want? The insurance report you took from Charles Roberts the night you murdered him. 
I didn't kill Roberts. I know you did, and I want those reports. I'll get them. Tie him up, Cato. Police headquarters. Captain Ridge, send a squad car to the Tri-State Trucking Office. 